later back in France. France take two. Yeah um, we're on what day are we on the 6th? On 6th yeah 6th day final night. Last night tonight. Last isn't night it? tonight got some good feelings gonna gonna fill it in tonight but rest of the bait but yeah, yeah what, what a trip it's been. Right so your draw that when we had the draw what, what did you come out second? I came out second right, which I was so more than happy with. Right so, and obviously um, Jordan come out first. Yeah. You used to end up in the cabin swim, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, right, so you went in straight like Forest Pool last year. It's a pattern in your behaviour. Yeah. Like. Yeah, well, yeah. like I said, just like I said on, on the last video, um, French fish are big for a reason yeah. because they f fucking eat a lot, they put it away. Um, All right, back in France. Again. A year later, oh, again. Yeah. Um, <coughs> same struggles as last year. Yeah, <laughs> it's the same, right? wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Okay. carbon copper. Yeah, uh, we come out. Well, you come out third in the draw, didn't you? Yeah. So we've got the cabin peg, which we're in now. Yeah. Um, which is absolute luxury. So Alex and Jordan have had the high life all week. Kitchen, fridge, freezer, flushable toilet. Um, no, it's just one of them. Look at the draw. I mean, Dave was over on the side where I don't have pegs. It's rocks and asleep. <laughs> 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 it's asleep. It's steep. It's steep. <laughs> <laughs> it's steep down to um, Dave's water, and yeah. as you probably see in this video, we go ass over to it, don't you, mate? Right then, tell us about your first day. First day, uh, journey was sweet, wasn't it? Tunnel heat, nice and easy. First day we got here, um, right, who's picking the usual one to four and some pop-ups, didn't you? Yeah. I thought it was solid. He bowled in like that, took one. What did I get? Four. <laughs> So, so <laughs> me and you end up on the other side. You have first pick. You've got the peg. Um, I've got. I've, I've named it nettle peg. A nettle peg. Basically, what it is, it's a cut out in the margin with a dangerously steep slope down to the water and grass, and um, just a lot of the nettles. It sucked me the first day. I just had nothing. Um, these lot were finding the shelf and the gravel were you? with the bolt <coughs> I was just being stubborn casting and I thought I'm going in the deeper water which wasn't the one so I've struggled for two days right my key is that if I can I'll drop it in with the bolt which I have been doing and that's been doing with the success um, and filling it in mate yeah so first morning you had a lump didn't you um, talk us through what you did um, where you bait, obviously I saw you go out in the boat. Yeah. Um, you were straight onto the gravel spots in the margin. Right? Yeah. Straight I, on it. From, obviously from fishing last year, Yeah. you're using obviously the information that the bailiffs are giving you. We've not really had that here. We've, we've had Susan, she's, she's lovely to be fair, but in terms yeah. of spots, she, she doesn't really know where they've been coming out of. But yeah. the angle that we spoke to before had mentioned like the margins and I thought, because yeah. it was so warm when we got here, find the marginal spots, lead it up, um, and obviously in, and drop the bait in there, yeah. uh, which I did, to be fair, to the left of me. I'm fishing, so as you come into Belfosse, you'll obviously notice the cabin first. I'm on the left-hand side of the cabin, so I'm commanding like the left side of the water. Yeah. Well, the water's like a square, in it? 
pretty much. Yeah, it's just so it's, it's the, the topography of it, it's yeah. just a square. So when we split it into quarters, I'm Yeah, like, yeah. So yeah. I'm on the left hand corner. Yeah, at the front side. This is a nice little venue to be fair. To be fair, oh, I've just said it. <laughs> oh. To be fair. <laughs> to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair. <laughs> 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 Little Johnny's every word he starts off with. He, he, good morning. To be fair, good morning. <laughs> See you later, Johnny. To be fair, goodbye. Every word, he, every sentence he's got, yeah. got it in. So yeah. So first night. Did you have anything the first, like the first morning or, or the first now. night? Yeah, I had a grass cap which battered me. I think it went twenty pounds something. This is going to sound really bad. This, but the, the low twenties, I didn't keep record of him and just knew it was low 20 and just like yeah so I think it was about 23 pounds something um, got to net beat me up and then I got a 20 I think it was 22 something like that <coughs> cap um, so yeah I was off to a good start to be fair to be fair I said it <laughs> oh no no <laughs> you rubbed off on me <laughs> Johnny, Johnny's outside the cabin so it's a bait oh, oh. You, you found your you found your marginal you found your margin spot gravel yeah. about five foot six foot deep was it ish yeah about it ranges yeah. from about five foot to six foot uh, yeah, and but it drops off down to about ten doesn't yeah, it yeah it drops off yeah. um, and it's it's literally it's, it's like just pearly gravel like you're donking a lead and it's just bonk, yeah. bonk, 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 solid it's, it's perfect obviously like say for presenting your baits yeah. and stuff like that obviously Jordan come out first in the draw yeah Jordan's um, next to me yeah he's gone to the right of the cabin swim hasn't he yeah that was I'm dealing what in by my first pick a swim. Yeah. Uh, just because I say that you shouldn't go off and play swims look, but it actually looks really, really it good looks for a bit, it? Yeah, it, it looks, looks quality. Bit. So after your um after your 3711, what up the second obviously you just press repeat, didn't you? Press, press repeat, rig out, rig the out, bait on the spot, it up, bait on the spot, left it. Yeah. And it was about half one, half two in the morning. Yeah. And it just literally ripped off again. But this one I hooked into this, it fell. Is it the same spot as the same spot? Yeah. yeah. Um, it just felt like it was just going and going and going. And I was like, oh, I've hooked into a catfish or yeah, something. And that's cat, that. Yeah. Cats in here. Cats in here. Yeah. We've not not seen one or caught one yet, like. But this thing that I hooked, you know, it's, it's, it's going to be a catfish again. Yeah, so obviously you're, you're in this battle with in the second fish, it feels big. Yeah. Uh, what, what's popped up? <laughs> uh, Mahusive grass carp. <laughs> yeah. Normally I said like, you're always going to catch a load of grass carp here. And they have, like, I've, I've, I've caught a few and I've just like let them go in the net. Uh, yeah. But I thought, I lifted it up and it was just a solid waiting because they, they really long fish. Yeah, yeah. I just think, mm, I'm going to weigh that. I thought yeah. oh, that'll be big. I was not expecting it to go uh, forty-seven pound yeah. eleven. That's a monster. Uh, it was hi- it was higher, but obviously we took the weight of the scale off, and the true weight was, was forty-seven. Yeah. Took the sling pound. off. Took the sling it's off. Still it's forty-seven. Forty-seven. <laughs> end of the day, it's a forty-seven pound carp. It's a big but fish. It's mate. a big fish. I mean, it's not obviously the ideal. Like, if it was a forty-seven pound common, I would have been buzzing. Yeah, yeah, but I was yeah. still buzzing nonetheless because it was just proving that that my spots. We're working. Well, Jordan's yeah. not too keen on being on camera, is he? He's not a um, no. bit, bit camera shy. So bit you, camera you're, shy. Yeah. You're telling his, his side of it as well, aren't you, for us? I'll, I'll tell you yeah, his he, side he, on. He, he, obviously, his second day, still still struggle. I, I, I was as well, to be yeah. honest. The struggle. Me, me, he was struggling one the second day. I, I Nothing th- really happened, I don't think. I think, to be fair. He, when did he catch the two grasses? Was that the third day? That was. So he had the. Forty-seven pound first. That was on the third. Third day. Forty-five. No, no. Hold on a minute. He might. He caught the two grasses first. I think he had. Yeah, he had the two grasses yeah. first. So, obviously, yeah. So, sorry. Third day. Yeah. He had. He had day bites. He was having, um, and he and he caught a grass carp. Yeah. Um, caught two of them. Like that was out the middle. That wasn't it? Out the middle. Yeah. Strangely enough. Strangely yeah. like so. Um, I was buzzing, but he was using, I think he was using like solid bags yeah, uh, yeah. to get out of so there's obviously a bit of it, but the depths are mad. It's obviously like the shelf just drops off. It's, and it's steep. It's steep. It's an old gravel pit, um, an old yeah. aggregate pit, so they are deep. Um, I had the deeper out and the yeah. shelf, the shelf, mate, it, it, well, it's not vertical, but in place it's not far off. Yeah. It's, it's just five or six foot nice gravel, yeah. and it just drops on it. Yeah. Not far, to about ten. 
Yeah. And then I think Sork's down to 12. But yeah, nothing's. I was surprised, surprised he's had a takeout in the middle. I the rest was, of the week, no, no one's had a touch out. Yeah, there, it comes come as a complete another shot. Yeah, really. That's his first French fish, isn't I it? I was buzzing for him yeah. to say, off the mark. Because off the mark, and it, it's literally. Because you think then you go, right, he's caught something out. Yeah. And get onto it, you know, like, you know what, what comes about. So I'm not it's uneventful, apart from getting bit all over me head. <laughs> See? <laughs> Can't miss it. Bit all over me bleeding head. It's all like fucking. I don't know what like. Um, what else have I done? Pop, pop me air on my trainer. The drone ended up in the water. Bought a, bought a drone. Got some, you know, filming and all that in the fucking water. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So after a couple of days, a couple of nights, I had nothing at all. I was really struggling. And my rod goes one day, the same as Forest Pool last year. I'm a slow star, mate. Aren't I? <laughs> yeah. yeah Everywhere bad. I go, I'm a slow star. So rod goes. Oh, better hit it. It's it. Grass carp. Oh, I never caught one. So it's in the net. Jake's filming me. Uh, Johnny's down at the water, getting this grass carp. The other rod goes. Oh, double take. Grass carp. Just about to go and get the other one out of the net. Uh, well, Johnny was going to get the net one. It's a net the other, net the second one. Grass carp jumps out of the net. So me and Johnny are on this little clay beach thing, playing these grass carp, these lunatic grass carp. And um, anyway, get him in the net. Pictures, video, microphone didn't work. Surprise, surprise. That was the story the first half of the week. Everything just going tits up. But I caught two fish. So two fish and two fish, aren't It's better than nothing. So, sweet. Release them both, both in the sling. They'll be all right, won't they? Down the hill. Bang. Elbow drop that the rock would be proud of. <laughs> Whiplash on my neck somehow. Jake's crying in the background. You can't hear him because the mic weren't on, but yeah, he's at them. I've got footage of him creased over laughing at me. <laughs> me. <What> was her? <laughs> just, just, just to elaborate on that, hopefully I'll put it in the um, in the video, but everyone just slow down and watch his neck. His neck just, <laughs> it's like he's got a rubber neck. He just flicks straight back up. Do you know what? Something did happen the first day. I set me rods up. All these are gone to do a bit of shopping. I stayed here watching the game. Solid bag. 40 seconds later, <laughs> buzzing, putting the bobbin on. Bob, uh, what's on, chat? Oh, you bastard. Can't even use solid bags. So, anyway, put 18 mil wafters on. Two more, what's on, chat? <laughs> and one of them, look, you can see the scar there, I was brutally maimed by one, wasn't I? Yeah. My hand was throbbing for about 20 minutes, I've been poisoned, but I've got, yeah, I've got a little slice in my hand off one of them. Over him and abused up. Yeah. Here comes France to catch Poisson Sean and get absolutely abused off him. The Poisson Shat and I got. I've, I've nicknamed him Poisson Shit anyway. Sorry for swearing. <laughs> to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Can we call this and start again? <laughs> <laughs> we kissed the one what an old <laughs> Right, so um, we ended up on the opposite side of the cabin. Yeah. Um, you went. Did you go out the boat straight? You go out the boat straight away? <laughs> so. I brought a bait boat, right, with all the best intentions at all again. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, um, got a winch cam with it, so I had him saying, listen, lads, what I'll do is send a winch cam out, see if the bait's got to be sound, but like a little edge, find the spots. Same as my bait boat out, um, dies, connector, miss, um, connector and bolt lose connection. So, my boat's for the first night was just going around in circles with its lights on, so I'll see from my pivot was these like, lights falling <laughs> around. Um, so, I bait boat out the first night, caught one, cast. Yeah, no, did I? I think cast one as well. And caught did on did you recast one of your rods you caught? That was in the second night. That. Second night. Yeah, that's when I had two in one night. Um, so, yeah, the first one, bait boat. Then, day two, we went out on the boat, got the prodding stick out, didn't we? Found some good areas. But what I'd say with it is there is snags everywhere. Even when it's clear, you've got all dead branches. We've got all trees around the margins. All branches fall in, so there is a lot, a lot of snags. I think I got snagged up. I've lost three or four fish. Lads have lost a couple as well, so you do need to come with some heavy gear. I think you'd say to someone to come with mono. Yeah, before. definitely fake mono leaders, I think, in it, 100%. Yeah. <laughs> Tell us about your actual first carp. First carp, um, sounds pretty poor, doesn't it? A 19 pound common, but the effort I put in, uh, nothing was working. So I did what I did at Forest Pool, watch what little Johnny did, and like uh, Jake, and um, I, you just felt they were just on the marginal shelf. It's still deep, about five or six foot, wasn't it? Mm. Going out on the boat, uh, prodding about, you know, for uh, 
just just finding the firm gravelly bits and there's a lot of snags around the margin so these places where the shelf either deeper out big tasty boy is deeper and the shelf's there and it's like that the drop yeah yeah it's, it's don't drop down far it drops down four foot maybe but in front of me just barry just 10 foot it's like clay sort of clay clay bottom you can see it in my margin um so there's nothing really it's pretty apart from the marginal shelf and the snags on it it's quite featureless isn't it yeah. so i thought right get out find the find the spots in the boat baited up anyway um i ended up was it the same night I mm. caught the two or was it the night after I think it was the night after wasn't yeah, it because I remember the first the first day it was that bad we were that tired I just the day after I woke up I just pretended I, I pretended I just got here just wrote the first day off didn't we yeah, it, yeah it was, uh, but anyway uh, yeah this night this common seen it seen it was a normal car I thought yes I'm off the mark if I, if I get it in and uh, yeah 19 pound common so I'll throw some footage in of it um, finding spots with a bolt Obviously, we did that for his pool, didn't we? Yeah, um, yeah. We are well. What was your what was your what was your baiting? We heavy light. You went in quite heavy, didn't you, from the start? I can't remember how much I went through. It must have been like only a kilogram or two of boilies and tiger nuts. And then listening to Johnny, how we did it last year, filled it in. We did the same. It's the bite started coming every night since. We've done the same. Just filled it in. <laughs> the margins like that. So what we're doing is getting it, landing at pole. When that's just sunk below the surface and it was six foot. Just dropping rigs on it and then just handfulling it out with um, bait, but getting as close to the snags as you could, and coming back up and just locking up. So all you're getting at night is a do 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 do, and then your rod tips lifting up. As soon as you get it, like running back, not running back, walking back to get them out. And on the third night, for some weird reason, the water was flat calm. It felt really eerie. There was something in the air. Yeah. People say it's like su superstitious. Oh, no, they, they, just. De yeah, deadly it's, still it's one deadly it. still yeah, and deadly it's still. like it just felt like a big fish yeah. was due out um, where Jordan's fishing he's doing this he's fishing similar to you yeah but boating out but just on the opposite side isn't it? exactly the same as me boating out he's yeah. led up the spots found it boating up, and then yeah. I've just told him just fill it in yeah. what, uh, what, what rigs did you use for your 47 and your the grassy and the 37 they were all homemade um, you want to spin? IQD spinner rigs Spinners, yeah right. um, with the ESP tungsten um, like pop up weights ah, they yeah. they, they, they've, they've, they've yeah. done the trick really and, and the, what the up baits it's pretty much we've all using the same now aren't we bait tiger nuts tiger nuts, tiger nuts my, yeah. my tiger nut with a bit of pop corn on mine or a bit of pop up maize yeah. just for a bit of colour a bit of fleck yeah. Um, yeah. just catch your eyes um, but I've never caught anything on on tag have you not have you not before yeah no I've, I've never and I've never I've never seen the before I'm massive on my naturals me whenever I go fishing maggots yeah so, so it's yeah. never really come or like I say and the real ones obviously like boilies I've never used anything else because I've never had to deal with nuisance fish. Yeah, like, I suppose but, it's give you confidence. You use tiger nuts elsewhere. Yeah, me, me too. I, I was, we were using them on roads yeah. in the UK before we came in. I caught a few on him. And it yeah. gives you the confidence to. But it's not that every cat that we've lifted out and you've looked in the sling, they've just shat tiger, tiger nuts everywhere. Jordan was he was was he caught? He was drilling out drilling them out and putting cork in them on it. He? He's been he, he's he's yeah. been really clever with it. Yeah, he got him. Yeah. Um, I had um, a bottle of wine at the start of the week and I popped the cork out of it. Yeah. <laughs> left it on the side yeah. two days later he's coming using it yeah cork, drill it, cork, drill it, cork, 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 it. yeah exactly yeah, cork, 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 right there yeah. that place is just one that's just just, just uh, dived out there in the, in, in the middle of life So we're on uh, third day. Third Jordan's day. had a couple. Yeah, he had another sort of mid double grassy, didn't he? Yeah, a couple yeah. of grasses. Couple of grasses. Yeah. And then um, you've had your thirty seven eleven and your massive yeah torpedo so, grass cap. So grass cap. So we're on obviously like I say the third night. Yeah. Something uh, something a bit bigger came along, but for Jordan this time, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Go on, tell us a uh, tell, tell us a story there, mate. So was it early hours of the morning. Early hours of the morning. I'm obviously. Up, up, I'm, like, I'm ready because I think everything's going to go in a minute. Yeah. And because obviously Jordan's been having day bites, didn't really think of it for That must be the day time. Yeah. That's the nine on the night. Just hear this Delta Milan rip one toe. And 
he's he's gone into it and yeah. um, he's only using ten foot TXIs. Still three and a half pound light, but my god, hoops over. Yeah, they will be. And it's always. just a bat, but it's like a dead. I knew it was big because it was like a dead weight. It was like he was bringing in like a big wet bag of sand. Yeah. It was. Yeah. There was. It was only. There was like little head shake here and there, but no real like drives of power. Yeah, yeah. And it, and it comes up after probably. I think he was fighting it for about ten minutes, ten fifteen minutes. Yeah. Which is good at that point because I probably would have had it on for a bit longer. Like, but he did. He, he bullied it. Told him to bully it. Like, if you've got you've got the strength there. Bully it. Yeah. Um. And it comes up, and I noticed this, like the shoulders first. The, yeah. shoulder, the fish here, some of them have got proper like stocky yeah. shoulders on them, mint looking fish. Yeah. <laughs> and um, and yeah, it's it's come up, and it's just like I said, I was like, oh, that could be a big fish. That put it under the net, and at the back, they're a bit. Every fish I've ever hooked in France, they've always looked to see you, and they've always been bigger <laughs> than what they actually are. Obviously, you don't come to France to catch a nineteen pound cob. After the couple of days I had, I would have took anything. I was glad to be off the mark. I know I caught some grasses, but I've never caught a grassy before. And straight away, I don't want to catch it. <laughs> just don't. Nah, they're not for me. Unless it's a big one like Johnny had. But so after we've had this common, then what? When did your next fish come? Uh, I think the night after. See what's let me down this session is consistency. Because what I've done, because I didn't want to catch. I caught another couple of grass carp. Then in the day. Right, the middle rod's just pulled up tight. Same spot as I had the grassy and the uh, 19 pound common from. What day are we on? We're on day four, Tuesday. Got a feeling it's another grassy. Uh, another grassy. Fucking peed old grasser. Um, I didn't want to catch any more, so the spot on the shelf I was fishing, I, I moved it off into the deeper water. I put one out. I put one out in the middle every night and had nothing at all. There's just no no takes are coming for me in that middle bit. Um, but I put bait there, so I was persevering with it. So I think that I, I'd, uh, I think I had all three rods in the deeper water and I had nothing. What I should have done was what the rest of the lads did and they should have stuck to the marginal shelf I just kept baiting it I should have learnt from Forest Pool I know it, not every water is the same but it seems to be the same pattern here pick your spot bait it and just keep just stick to that area um, I was messing about in deep water in the middle doing this and that and um, thinking oh why am I not catching and since then I've gone back to past couple of nights I've gone back to the margin spot what I caught off the common in the grass cart off. I've got two margin spots actually, one's to the right, one's to the left, and I've had bites off both of them. Um, but I've caught, what have I caught? I had a fish on the night you were drunk and abused me. <laughs> you're, you're actually behind me, abusing me about that, <laughs> weren't you? And I lost it, you're laughing. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. Give, me, give me all the abuse. And I lost it and it, it felt big. I know it's a cliche, like all the one that got away, but this felt, it was, this felt ever. Um, rod back out, nothing. Uh, I half asked it on the way back out and I sort of threw it out of the boat when really I should have put it back properly. Second night now, sorry. I <laughs> got snagged to my left hand side, I had a bait underneath there and I'd go out in the boat. But just before that, I was giving it a big in on a group chat saying because it's a big thunderstorm, I said, Look, if you have one, you've got to go out with your top off and be a man about it, like just joking. So I'm in bed with my shorts on and top on. And then um, Rod busts off, get snagged, and I have to go out in a boat. As I'm in a boat, I'm getting absolutely battered off midges. I've got like a lump on my shoulder, I could, could like start talking to it. <laughs> and um, yeah, I got this fish in at 20 odd pound. Come back, and I mean, I had a double take. My middle rod had gone off, so I jumped, got the middle rod, and went straight back out. So snags, I lost that one, unfortunately. Then the second night, the third night, again, for some reason, I had a double run. Middle rod went, went out in a boat. Um, got stamped up again, couldn't get that in. I must say, you no, know how hard and tough you are when you go out at a boat and everyone else is in bed at after o'clock in the morning. It's freezing, it's mist on the Draining. water. It's well scary. <laughs> and then t I was like, yeah, fuck, don't think about it too much. You'll be fine. And then on the, the second take that I had the double take, it was a drop back. So I pulled into that, that's locked up. 
come right to the margin and my rod swoops down. So I've gone a bit too far in the bolt, so I've slammed on the reverse on the bolt to start going back. And I don't know if it's a class on shot or a grass cart, jumped out and then I've cleared the bolt and I've just gone, Ooh, like in the middle of the boat by myself. <laughs> Ooh, like, Ooh, like absolutely shit myself. I was like, oh my God. And then just to make matters a bit more funnier, I was pulling the line to thinking, just get this log up or whatever it might be. Pulled it, just was snapped. So it snapped, I've gone right over to the side of the boat, hit my ribs, like this side of me is in the water. I would not go in, I don't know. We've got this life jacket that little Johnny bought. It's a self inflatable one, you don't know, when you push it, it inflates, and it's got a whistle on. I said to lads, imagine this sheer embarrassment of me being in the water with his head torch, just spinning around, going, like, oh, you whistle. <laughs> Hell! Man overboard! <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, I, I don't know I said it then. I would have just swam back. I would have just swam. I would have swam to my peg and just not told anyone, just left the boat floating around everywhere. Same night, I got another run as well. Oh, yeah, yeah, you did, yeah. didn't you? And yeah. I got a, and I got a, 30, a 35 put, pound. But the sun went pictures with that, and yeah. pictures in. Yeah, really, so, yeah. We, we, so basically, I'd had this. I'd had, I'd had this 35 after that, and so I was just, just sling them up and we'll get, get some shots in the morning. Like, it was like, I think it might have come at about half five or something oh, like yeah. that. So, sling for an hour. Yeah, only sling, hour. It was only yeah. sling for an hour. So, yeah, so. Brace big, between, brace between, between us, two, two fish, big, yeah. big carp, which you yeah. think, like, um, but yeah, we, really, really good. Yeah. So, so we, we was happy with that. So, we're halfway through the week. Yeah. You, you've had, you've had a fucking, oh, pardon me, like, yeah. you've had a good, a good start, haven't you? I've Massive had a grass here. Two, yeah, so I thirty. Jordan's had a monster. Yeah. Oh, and as well, actually, on the sorry, on the third night as well, I had a common as well. Was it the twenty seven? Twenty seven pound common. Yeah. yeah. Cat. Uh, cat, cat, cat again, like, yeah. Like forgetting it, don't we? <laughs> yeah, it's still, it's just twenty seven pound common yeah. cat. Yeah, it's still a good fish. Still mate. a good fish. Yeah. Uh, had a twenty seven pound common carp. Um, all three reds, uh, all three rods went at night, yeah. which I was buzzing about. Uh, the other one I'll talk about in a minute because that's just. a you started off quite well catching though, didn't you? Yeah, and then what? it just died a death. Um, I think I went two nights. One of, them, one of the nights, I had a little bit too much drink, you know, I just played Bayern Munich, so I'd just write that off because I put the bait out and yeah, it was the best endeavours, to be fair, wherever it went. I remember waking up at six in the morning and, and not so that long since I've been here, so I ripped that one off. And then um, I had another quiet night. Um, fishing aside for a minute, yeah. you used to have got the cabin, haven't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, um, yeah. Obviously, you got the first you two got one and two in the draw. Yeah. Pick the cabin. Yeah. Um, what, what, do you, what do you reckon to the cabin? Yeah, facilities are mint. A bit of luxury, isn't it? It is. Like, cons considering last year, the cabin that we had, it did its job. Yeah. It was, yeah. Like, it, it was a bit it, rustic, it, wasn't it? But it was rustic. Yeah. It, was it needed yeah. a bit of updating. Like, yeah. This of one's like... This one's brand spanking new. Yeah. Obviously, we'll probably get some shots of it in a bit, but... Yeah, yeah. It's ideal if, you, if you've got a family yeah, yeah. And you want to go fishing, but yeah. like, it's perfect. If there's two eaters on here, or yeah. even three maybe, you'd be absolutely laughing, wouldn't you? You can yeah. always pick me up. You could, you could all just yeah. literally leave your rods out yeah. and, and, and keep in here, like, have your yeah. receivers, because you're yeah. literally just down steps and, and you're yeah. on, on, onto, the, um, onto the water, yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> this, this, we'll, we'll laugh at this, we'll laugh at this afterwards, but me and uh, the mosquitoes are a bit of an issue here, aren't they? The insects. I don't know if you can see, see that, see but I have literally, yeah, I look like a prepubescent yeah. teenager because I've absolutely been... I'm, I'll show mine, I'm, I'll show mine as well. It's, yeah, but it's, we're it, back with mullet, we'll laugh about it. It's, it serves me right, because I tear a dew well, through, yeah. and then you come in, I'm like, oh, bloody hell, you've been eating alive, you yeah. know? I've then, been massacred, haven't I? Yeah. I'm and around then, my forehead. And then morning after, I've been absolutely <laughs> hammered, I was like, shit. <laughs> been Carver. taking the piss out of the day with all gutty. Halfway through the week, you yeah. and Jordan are doing, you know, all right. Yeah. Well, pff, better than all right. Yeah. Um, what was your next fish? What was Jordan's? Because from there, I think we've had action between us pretty much every night, haven't we? I had. Now uh, we sort of sussed out the bait on the mark. The mark. We're all fishing on marginal self with tigers yeah. now, aren't we? Yeah. Well, we so, we, 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 sussed, we sussed it by um, this time. At this time, and um, well, to be fair, going back to that night, the one that I went after all three rods had gone. Yeah. The last rod went, but I'm sat on the one, so I don't want it. Like, I've, you know what you think? Cracked it. Yeah, Got another yeah. one. Yeah. But the bite was funny. Like, it it was literally drop back, up, drop back up, and I thought, is it? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking 
Oh, and the old. Croissants. Still comes to uh, stuff. Still comes to rants. Bream. Yeah. Oh, a big bream. Is it twelve pound? Twelve pound bream. A slab of a bream. Absolute it? slab of a bream. But everyone takes piss because no matter where I go. Yeah. I catch a bream it, honestly I just hey, we're lucky there's no stage in it <laughs> oh, if, if there was mate I'd be fuming yeah, be on your phone because I'd all catch probably, it, yeah, that, you? I'd probably have it like, like you say I probably would have had it in four or five times but yeah. so um, what was Jordan's what was what was a, the Jordan had anything that night Jordan had it's hard to keep track of all these it's hard to keep track I'm yeah, trying, I'm to, trying think. to think of Sorry, them half, 7 o'clock quarter past 7 he had another run and it was another car, but it was like a little mirror. I don't I know. I remember that. I don't yeah. know what the weight was, but I think it was roughly 15. Mid double this. Yeah, 15, yeah, 16 yeah. pounds. Yeah, um, mid double this. I, I, I just think he just wanted to get, get a picture. Yeah. It's a car, a isn't carp, it? Yeah. It's another car, mate. Another car. France. So, yeah, so that was uh, yeah. his thingy on that one. So, yeah. Um, day after, I lost the fear. I was caught off actually on my right hand. In the middle of the day, out of the blue, right hand spot. All on Tiger Nuts. Um, caught one is it last yeah last night it was wasn't it I caught one last night I, w- I would have slung it but it, it was too early you got your net yeah let's grab it off oh he's fucking his father was even doing tits in got it here's me told you to get one Oh, it's a nice scale, it one. Yeah, the guy said they put some stockers in, some lovely um, mirrors. Is this in your noodle, Rick? <laughs> yeah, it's only quarter past nine. Yeah. Well in mate. Ah <laughs> yes. Nice one mate. I'm all I can't sleep now. So it's nice though. Uh, not a monster, 23 pound mirror, but the scales with top is a really nice looking fish. Nice one, Johnny. I've got your own camera, but be using the fish, Johnny. So fuck it. Yeah. When it, when, it, when, it, when, it, when it turns up dead next week. Flash on. Evidence. <laughs> Evidence. That is, that's sick, that isn't it? What are those? <laughs> Thompson locals. What, what, who the fuck are you to say? What are those? <laughs> what are those? <laughs> what are those? <laughs> what are those? Like, it's just garbage. You've got to just start a new for me. They're my ninja slippers. <laughs> <laughs> £23. Got this hot for air, but look at that. That's quality, that, innit? Oh, buzzing. Mega fish. Nice one, boys. Oh, oh he's lad, mate. Right? Join the fight, the head torch battery died, Jake, and to the rescue. Come running over. Right, fuck it. Finally contributed to the team, though. How's it looking, alright? Yeah, mate, there you go. I'll get him some proper. Let him get some proper pictures that day. If he's done filming. Yeah, 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 I've got you. I've got Johnny on camera. I'll be using it, I yeah. I think. Yeah, he was trying to touch it and you know, we stopped him. We put a stop to it because it's not on. <laughs> didn't we? Yeah. Um, but yeah, that, again, I've been doing the same as Judd and you know, as Jake. Um, caught, drilling out Tiger Nuts, putting cork in him. I actually caught last night, I was sat in the bivvy yesterday, everything wet, it was pissing it down. The weather's been up and down as well, hasn't it? Yeah. Uh, it's been a hot sun and it's been raining nice. Brilliant now, bit of a breeze, nice and bright, it's pissing it down before. I was just thinking, what can I do here, what's going on? And I'd lost that fish the night before, and um, I was gutted because I thought that's probably the fish I came here for that. So um, what I did, I tied up, I don't know why I chose this, I tied up two noodle rigs. I thought, I've used it once, caught on it once, big piece of string tube, you know. Scott, well, I was watching the video, and uh, he said he, he, he watches fish in the edge a lot, doesn't he? And he's never seen one of them spit it out. I thought, you know what? What I forgot to lose? Anyway, I, I had two takes on the noodle rig. One I was cut off again. 
um, unfortunately, because it is, it's all about the snags here. It seems to be all about the snags. That, that middle area, I think Joe had a grass carp dinner off it, like a mid-double grass carp off once, but the rest of it's just been dead. You're fishing lots up, aren't you? Yeah, you've got to. So when snags. you when you come here, you'll see. Yeah, there's overhanging trees. There's everything. You might find a clear spot, but you'll you'll still manage. Yeah, yeah. whatever clear spot you find on the shelf, there yeah. seems to be something yeah. near it. Either some yeah. roots or a dead branch. Definitely, there's something near it. Yeah, yeah. definitely. But that, that's where all the bites are coming from, isn't it? So that's it, mate. Like yeah. I say, they 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 patrol in the marginal shelf at night. Yeah. Um, that's another thing, it's been a bit of a night, what, the, the bloke last week said he only fished the days. I know, again. Yeah. And then we've only really had action at night, most of it, haven't we? Mate, I've had none. I've had the only day bats I've had a crack of dawn, like early morning. Yeah. I've, I've the only ones I've had a grass carp. Yeah, well, <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> yeah, but to be fair, to get you off the mark, I think you needed it, mate. I, I was struggling you with that. Yeah. Well, I'll, I'll go into that when it's mine, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll go into mate. that. I said to lose a couple. Yeah, so I said to lads like, I've not lost any fish me in this trip, I'm fishing lots, so it's fine. For the uh, Thursday yeah. night, for the bump. Everything's bump, good in fear, isn't bump, it? Bumped two off. Yeah. Uh, sorry, Wednesday night, bumped two off. It's like, shit, yeah. so I need to get up. But last night, redeemed myself again with a, it was a 25-10 mirror. Nice fish though. Nah, yeah. the, Over the, 20 mate. The fish here are immaculate. Like yeah. you say, it's the, the fish that you just can't grumble big at. Big tails. Yeah, big tails. The margin's yeah, really margins. deep in front here, isn't it? So they put up a good. What's well, um, just before we saw, that, that's your last fish up to now, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. So all, yeah. all these fish, what's your um, what's your bait mix? What have you been using? I know so, we've been using all, but we've been using Atlantic Heat all the so Tiger nuts as well. Hitting it with a bit of particle, we bought a big bag of pellet. Um, and a bag of particle uh, yeah. and some tiger nuts. So yeah. mixing them all quite in. Quite a mix, isn't it? It's a mix like that, and then I'm going in with the manila um, liquid. I'm just going to ask you that any liquids. Yeah, yeah, soaking them in manila liquid, yeah. mate. It's, it did me well last year, so. It's thought, done you well this year as well, and it's to be, yeah. to be fair, mate. But I think it's just a, a, an ongoing thing yeah. now. Um, yeah. I'm just going to have to just. Confidence, take, mate. Isn't yeah, it, it is. It's, and last night, we changed my spot a little bit, adjusted it. Got a bit close to the snags. I had one this morning, um, about four. So I've got it in the sling. I've done some pictures this morning. Cat pub. <laughs> Every time we catch Cat pub. <laughs> Cat pub, yeah. Every time someone gets a fish, somebody gets a tea bag. <laughs> it's uh, it's Judd's. <laughs> I turn to have a peanut in the back. <laughs> Any mate, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I'm going to tell cousin Steve the common. There we go. Ah, it's Piss wet through, like a pig in shit, Appa. One more, can we have one more? And then a lot, I had a weird occurrence in my right hand rod, but um, I've got fat and fishing five pound sled that didn't discharge, just drilled in a log. I want logs like a branch or just might have been caught in snags. Then we left them when it's done it, I was just going to drive for some reason. But yeah, it's last night's night, it's going to fill with whatever else we've got in. So, just to say as well, I'm doing a vlog and um, Dave... Shameless plug. Dame, Dave said that it was 29 and after you know, missing boat and a bit of <coughs> calculating, it was a scraper for her. So just if everyone else fishing with Dave, make sure that you've got things he's going to pound off on you. <laughs> he was furious when he said it's 30, he stormed off back to his peg. Let's calm him down. <laughs> 29 summer it was, and then he sticking said, to me guns. And then he said, uh, he, he actually said, well if that's 30, the 24 I had last night is 28. So I'm saying, <laughs> <He did. laughs> 
So is it, it days of 24 in in France by the time so you can't be 28. You just see it in his vlog. <laughs> you see it in his vlog when he like he just starts speaking over himself in the video. Right, see rigs, mate. Uh, what's your rigs you've been using? Because you've been have you used the same rig all the way through? Yeah. Um, so it's a Nash long shank twister. It's a straight point. So what I've done is add that on a slip D with some of the what was that fox one that you give me? That hook link camel light stuff. Oh, camel sex semi stiff. Yeah, camel sex semi stiff. Yeah. Then what I do is I get like an inch string tube, um, put it over like over the hook, and then have it coming off, and then put it a bit of an angle so it flips and turns really aggressively. Um, we've had some made made records, haven't we? Like I said, one's come through its mouth, and if it's been planted either side or the back, so really good hook holds. That slip D just allows the, the, the um, balance <coughs> not just to move freely as well. So, yeah, I've stuck with that all the way through. Um, yeah, it's, it's done it's good so far. What's your, uh, what's your bait mix? No, jo Johnny's got a mix of everything. He's got all oh, sorts of You know what it's like, Johnny? Potions, isn't yeah. spend more it's time. It's like an alchemist, isn't it, with his bait? More time on the bait than that's just fishing. But I've kept it quite simple. Um, tigers, Manit, no, I keep saying Manila. Tiger, Carino, done 5kg Carino in, um, <coughs> Manila liquid, and then, yeah, that was it, just loaded tigers, different tigers variety, because I've had the ones we bought from here, and then the jarred ones, and then some mainline jumbo ones as well, so it's a good mix. Oh, honestly, on that mix, I could keep the bucket open in the living room and use it to like, the house, it just smells like a proper nice vanilla nutty aroma. The missus would probably kick, kick me head in if it did like, and then on me fishier one, I've just had like bait for ages, festering. So I've had like a bag of scopet squid in dynamite, dynamite squid sauce that I've been there for like a year, just so. Yeah, stick to the margin spots. I've caught a 23. Um, the same rigs are going out tonight, and the same the same bait mix. Mine's quite simple, like Jake's um, rig. I've been using spinner rigs and had nothing on them. Uh, blowback rigs, I've caught grass carp on. I put an inch stiff rig last night. I was scared to put a boiler, a pop-up on, but I haven't missed a pop-up, because I thought I'd pass on, shit, I'd do it. But I wheeled it in this morning and it survived. But that was out in the middle again. Um, but yeah, I think three noodle rigs are going out tonight. I'm gonna change the middle spot for another margin spot as well, because that middle has just done me no good. My stubbornness with that middle just casting out into the open water. Does it cost me fish? I don't know. Maybe. <coughs> so we've just gone through your rigs and the bait. What what's actually been your mix? Do you want to touch on a bit more? Yeah. What, what's um, that's got into it? Yeah, uh, Atlantic heat bait works. I I only brought ten key, uh, not realising we have to feed off the Poisson shits. So um Tiger not went and bought some tigers, didn't we from the French yeah. tackle shop? That was an eye opener. Uh, <laughs> yeah, bought all the, t the tigers and boilies with uh, some cloudy bloodworm liquid, uh, sticky baits, and a bit of fish smart liquid. Don't think I've used anything else, have I? No, I think you kept it quite simple. To I think that's been it, right, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I've kept it that simple and done the worst. <laughs> no, <laughs> so. no, we've been out with anything. <laughs> but what's your general overall um, thoughts on Belly Foss? Uh, what I, advice would you give to anyone? I like this? it. I like it, mate. I want to come back because I think now we've sort of sussed out how to fish it. Um, I'd bring what I would say. I'd bring uh, thick mon thick mono leaders. You're not allowed to braid in any form apart from coated braid for the hooks, up links. No braid up links. Uh, no braid mainline. I'd bring. I don't know, something like 30 pound Fox Illusion leader and knock up some. Had to be Fox, didn't it? However, it had to be Fox, didn't it? It's got to be Fox. Um, I'd I, I bring some sort of thick mono leader um, and have a good six foot of it, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, def definitely. Because all the bites we've had, apart from one grass cart for uh, Jordan, was it's all snags in it. It's all it's all snags, mate. And it, you go out in the boat and you look at them and they are, some of them you're like, I think it's a bit of hit and hope sometimes when you're lowering your rig in it because we, we've all been out podded but the, the logs and yeah, stuff Yeah, you can't open. see, the, yeah. the, the water's that green, you, you, sat, you can't see, you 
can't see a foot down into it, can you? Really, no, so it's been like an algae bloom, yeah. and it's like pea soup out there. To yeah, it's pea soup. It's all up, and then when I went Cromwell, I had this best intention <coughs> of making a mix. So it was skull bet squid, um, and a load of pellet. So the pellet's gone soft and mushed up, and it was callulus, sticky callulus. So it was like a big thick sticky mix. I like poo in the bag actually when I put it out. Come on, that's the slapper. And then I threw a load of Atlantic heat in that. That all went out yesterday on a bit of citrus as well, the white citrus, 15 mils, and the raymarine um, shelf life. A kilogram of that like, I had knocking about. So it's just a literally a concoction and everything. Then I put some dynamite liquid sauce in it, Parker Bates, nutty, um, the nutty one. And then I think I threw something else in it. I can't remember. So yeah, it's just a bit of everything. Oh. This morning, <laughs> sounds I'd, like Johnny's bait. I had a little bit left in the bottom, so I threw <clears> about two, three kg of Atlantic heat in. I put a load of smart fish, smart liquid. Then I put Atlantic heat oil on it. <clears> then I put the um, what else did I put on it? Squid, the squid I got on it again, and then some more Kylos. I want to put some green lit muscle powder on the the nice smelling one as well. So yeah, but who knows? It, it might be the bait, might just be turned up, but the bulk of it's been tigers. That's what they've been eating, and in the slings, when we've seen them, they've all been pooing out um, nuts, all, all crushed up tigers. So that seems to do to do. So if you come here, get tigers, and the positive channel going to eat your boilers and your pellets. So, but you've got to bulk out your bait anyway to get the rest of the fish in. That'd be me. What up to now? Um, we've got one night left. Yeah. Obviously, we're going to get the rod sorted in the afternoon at some yeah. point in anticipation yeah. for yeah. night action yeah. again. What's your gut feeling? What's your gut feeling? Top of your like, sort of top of your head, what do you reckon? I want to say that it's gonna be I'm gonna and I'm gonna go out and just to double check, I'm gonna find the spots again. I'm gonna just go over no. like, just where I've been fishing. Just have a prod about because yeah. this morning um but on both uh, my right hand and my left hand because it was my middle one that went, yeah, I pulled in twigs. So um, I'm Oh. And, and I'm sure they were aware of since I was wounded. So for the short, it only takes you five minutes. Say so five minutes, it's just going to let up quickly, let up about again. Yeah. Get them out under them spots. Yeah. Once they're on them spots, I've got the rest of my bait that I've got here left, which is still quite a bit. Fill it in. Yeah. Fill it in. Leave it. Yeah. And fingers crossed that another one of the big ones comes Sweet. along and, and and hopefully he was up. Well, and, and I'll, I'll be happy John. with that. I hope so, Johnny. Hopefully, see a, a, another big fish in the net for someone, mate. No worries, Dave. Mate. Nice one, mate. No, all right, nice one, mate. Nice one. Cheers, mate. Nice one. Yeah, you've, you've had a few carp, haven't you? Biggest one was it this morning? That thirty, wasn't it? Yeah. And um, what do you one night to go? What do you obviously same rig, same baits going out, same spots, sticking to the spots. What's your gut feeling for the last night? Sweet FA. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. Honestly. Honestly, I just in this place is because the way it's been going is Dave will catch early in the night then I'll catch later on around about 1-2 and little Johnny about 4 so we're obviously doing circuit round but I just feel like if it was consistent I would have had more but yeah I, 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 since I had that 30 this morning I just accept my fate now yeah, I, I'm not, I'm not, yeah I'm not holding my breath yeah. Okay, well, you're doing that it. That was like miserable, that wasn't it? I should say, no, do you know what? I L- a little bit. I, th- yeah. I, think, I think, I feel honestly, if I said that, you'd tell me to sort me out. Yeah, it was. And be big glass half bit, full, bit more positive. Bit hypocritical, that wasn't it? I always give you shit. Ah, well, we can't that. be 100% all the time, mate. If that's what you genuinely feel. Okay, let me manifest this. Go on. Big, dirty, 40 odd common, massive. That's better. <laughs> you want to do it? Oh, yeah. I go weak at the knees when I see it. <laughs> <laughs> no, listen, uh, good luck for the last night, mate. Hopefully, you're right, and someone has a big beast in common. But, um, I hope you get on, mate. You're what you want. Well, we'll see. Or <laughs> we'll see, mate. No, nice one. Appreciate it. Cheers, mate. Thank you. Not happy, this, is it? Oh. Calm down. Calm down. Last fish of the session, and Jake's rods are in now. <laughs> Caught this about three this morning. It's been in the sling since then. First light now, so bivvies are away and everything. This is the last thing to sort out. Final French fish for the old uh, 
carp and I got nice one as well. Nice mirror, really nice actually. Yeah, look okay. it's just pure, just pure. Pure tiger nuts in the sling. It's nothing more annoying when you do this, is it? That's a really nice one, that Dave. Isn't it? Probably the best looking one in the session, to be fair. So not weighed it up, but oh, it's got to be a little, it's a little, little sweater. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Really good. Let's stay there. Anything to say to the camera off or put some pictures? No, I'll do that.